I personally believe that police aren't needed in the school place. I think, I understand security, but I, I think that security is different than police. We've seen so many police officers shoot. So now it's just clicked in our mind that we are not safe around them. Even though, even the ones that sworn to protect us, they gave the oath and did the, the right hand and all. But yet we, we're scared for our life every day. I didn't want them to look at me and think something was wrong or like I was doing something wrong. So I would really keep my head down and be more quiet when they were around. Um, and let them do what they needed to do in the school and then just like stay out of their way. Recently, a law in Kentucky was passed, um, Senate Bill 8, that will arm all SROs, so require all of them to be armed. And I think that for students who have a negative connotation with police officers, which SROs are dressed like police officers, and then with the knowledge that they're all going to be armed, I think that there are gonna be a lot of serious school climate repercussions that I don't think were considered because people, you know, jump to, we want to make our schools safer, but it's like safer for who? Security, I think should be for student safety to make sure that like people who shouldn't be in the school aren't coming in the school. And that like, if we are in some situation of danger, or we need help with something that security is there to help us. But I think that like the police aspect needs to go away because I think that students, we don't even need to be policed in the first place. We have majority colored school officers. So it's like, they understand, like they understand what happened last night with the homie down the street. You mean they 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 know what goes on, and they know how we feel about it. The safety officers that I have in my school, if I ever had a problem, like if I ever had a problem, they would always to be the one, the first one to be like, "D, what's wrong? Like you off today?" I noticed like a lot of other security guards that work there, they're not just there for the job; they're there to like help us, and they're there to like make us grow. For me and my personal experience, I've never had like a bad experience with the officer because I mean, I'm, I never did anything wrong, but I have also seen like situations where a student encounters with an officer at my school and it won't, it won't go, I won't say it won't go bad, but it won't go as good as if somebody who has a good connection with us. A lot of systems are set up to be pushed against students. So if they're not in the hall, that's a detention. And then they like end up with a whole bunch of detentions and then that can lead to suspension and then they fall behind and then they can get expelled. Like it's just, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. And especially for black and brown students can lead to the pipeline to prison. But I've noticed with restorative justice, it does the opposite and it sets kids up for success, not only through that, but it teaches kids how to use their words and how to resolve conflicts. So when they do get in the real world, rather than expecting, oh, well, I'm gonna get in trouble. They're like, hey, let's have a talk. You know, like, let's like conversate. It feels like people are actually like listening to us. You know, like the protests that we were um, participating in were like working because um, like, yeah, it just felt like we were actually being hurt as as uh, not only students, but as people in, in Colorado. The way that we treat black and brown students, it, it, it feeds into that school to prison pipeline um, that I think really needs to be dismantled. Like that's part of it. When we start policing black and brown students from that early of an age, that's when they start getting stuck in the cycle.